because I like to talk a bit about what uh, Apache IIS is. Uh, so uh, IIS is currently an incubating project, so it, um, it's not uh, a real uh, top-level project at Apache yet. Uh, its uh, main purpose is to provide uh, some technology pieces around uh, enterprise OSGI. So it mostly implements uh, different specifications that comes from the enterprise OSGI expert group. Uh, one of those is uh, Blueprint, uh, another one is uh, GPA integration as a layer uh, to integrate uh, GPA nicely into OSGI. Another one is the transaction manager in OSGI. Uh, another one is the GTBC layer in OSGI. So all those kind of uh, enterprise-related technologies that needs to be nicely integrated in OSGI uh, is, uh, aims to provide uh, those in a nice and clean way. Uh, so it's still in incubation. It has already released uh, 0 0.1 release uh, a few uh, months or weeks ago. Um, and so, in, for example, in Service Mix and in Caraf uh, in particular, we embed uh, some of those pieces, uh, the Blueprint implementation, for example, and the one is the GMX uh, layer that uh, allows managing the USGI runtime uh, using GMX. Um, so, there's a lot of uh, very uh, nice things there. It doesn't aim to be uh, a, a runtime or a container that you could use, so it's just bits and pieces that you will uh, grab and, and use into your own OSGI environment. So that's really, um, that's really a few things that uh, you could look at. Uh, the GPA stuff is uh, really good because a GPA has a long history of behaving badly in OSGI because of the class loader stuff. Uh, that is really different than in the G2E environment where it has been designed for. So uh, it works nicely now in OSGI, so that's really something you should look at if, if you want to, to use GPA in, in OSGI. Um, and the Blueprint one is really also uh, a very good one. A Blueprint comes is really uh, similar to what to Spring, the Spring configuration file. It's more uh, specifically designed for, for OSGI so you can create your OSGI-based applications uh, using Blueprint uh, and XML configuration files the same way you do with Spring. Uh, the difference is that you can access the OSGI API, so you can export services and import services from the OSGI registry. And it does really nice uh, things, uh, so it, it, it will create proxies. So the nice thing in, in OSGI, uh, which is a real dynamic environment and Blueprint allows you to leverage this is that if you have one service and it depends on another service from so you grab it from the OSGI registry if you want to update uh, the, the service you depend on uh, Blueprint will create a proxy so that it will wait until the service comes back so you can hot switch uh, the implementation for example if you just have a bug fix uh, bundle you just update the bundle and everything will still work and all the requests will be waiting for the new service to be available. So if you want to develop OSG application, you should also look at Blueprints, it's really nice. So that's mostly the two main uh, important pieces in, in IIS, so I think I'm done for now. <laughs>